It's past 12 o'clock, so I dare say good afternoon. Uh, and welcome everyone uh, to our first keynote at this year's Proscon, which will be held by Lydia, with, who's with us today, coming from Berlin, where she's working for Wikimedia, EV. And she's working as part of a team that does Wikidata. And what that is, we will learn. Please welcome Lydia. Thank you. Um, those of you who know me probably know me from other projects uh, I work on, like KE or the OpenNet Wise book. But as Danimo said, um, today I'm going to talk about my latest endeavor, and that is um, Wikidata. Um, so let's start with a question. How many of you have edited Wikipedia? Raise your hand. Only my own name. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Um, that's definitely not enough, uh, and we want to change this. And Wikidata is uh, one of the ways we want to do this. Um, this is the vision the Wikimedia movement aspires to. Imagine a world in which every single human being can freely share in the sum of all knowledge. This basically means we want to give everyone access to all the knowledge they want to have access to for free. Why is this important? Um, as a friend of mine recently said, you know, the cure for cancer, HIV AIDS, and so much more can be hidden away in a, <coughs> sorry, in the brain of a little girl um, in a remote village in Bangladesh. And it's our collective responsibility to give this little girl everything she needs um, to make use of this knowledge. Um, so how are we going to do this? You might be familiar with some of these projects, um, like MediaWiki, Wikisource, Wikibooks, Wikiversity. But the most f uh, famous one is probably Wikipedia. It right now has about 23 million articles and 1.4 billion edits since it started. And there exist Wikipedias in 285 languages. These numbers, whenever I read them, are pretty mind-boggling to me. But at the same time, um, not all is rosy uh, in the Wikimedia universe. For example, MediaWiki, the software that Wikipedia uh, runs on, is pretty low-tech. Um, powerful, but pretty low-tech. Let me give you an example. You have a question like this. What are the 10 biggest cities that have a female mayor? Wikipedia has everything it needs to answer this question. But it will take you a long time to answer this today. Um, so you have the list of uh, cities by population. And you have lists of mayors of certain cities. So basically everything you need. You have infos about the mayors and so on. But this knowledge is all hidden away in text. And it depends if someone sat down and wrote a list of cities with female mayors. And I can tell you, there is no such list. So you will have to go through all of these. This is, of course, not ideal. Oh, and by the way, you also have lists like this, um, or this. But in the end, you can't answer this question easily. Um, the second big problem that um, Wikimedia is facing is editor retention and recruiting. There are a lot of reasons for this. Um, I'm going to scratch two of those. Look at this, for example. This is what you get when you edit the article in the English language Wikipedia about Berlin. This isn't really friendly, right? Um, geeks like us might be OK with this, but the people we really want to reach, and in addition to the ones we already have, don't like this. They will not be very fond of editing this. Um, and the other thing is, 
If you look at this, this is uh, the recent changes page of a very small Wikipedia, in this case, Hausa. And what you see here that over the uh, four days before I took this screenshot, there were only edits by bots. Now, if you some, are someone who speaks Hausa and you want to get involved in this project, it's pretty demotivating to see that all the edits that have been done over the last four days have been done by bots and not by humans you can interact with. Those bots do regular maintenance tasks, so they're useful, but yeah, not so useful when you want to build a community. And that's the third thing. Um, I'd like to title this coverage and reach. What do I mean by this? Um, if you look at this map, this is a map of geotagged articles in the English uh, language Wikipedia. So whenever there's an article about, I don't know, a building or something, and someone adds the coordinates, it's, it will be put on this map. As you can see in English language Wikipedia, you can pretty much see the whole world. Um, but one thing you already see here is that there's a lot, it's a lot lighter in the global north than in the global south, for one. Now, look at the uh, French language Wikipedia. You see less already, and it's more centered around France. Now, if you look at Italy, huh, not a lot outside Italy, unfortunately. And if you go to uh, the Greek Wikipedia, it's even worse. Now look at the Turkish Wikipedia. <laughs> not so nice, right? This means that people who do not speak English, and for example, only Turkish, will not be able to get access to a lot of knowledge that is hidden away in the English language Wikipedia, for example. And here's another thing. Um, there are four Wikipedias that have more than um, one million articles. And there are 40 Wikipedias that have more than 100,000 articles, which is pretty decent. Um, but as I mentioned earlier, in total, there are 285 Wikipedias. This means there are 245 Wikipedias that have less than 100,000 articles. This is not good. And remember the vision? We're not reaching this, um, as you can see, so far. We want to change this. And this is where Wikidata, for example, comes in. But what is it actually that um, we're working on here? Um, it will be a repository of the world's knowledge. Um, it will be a database that anyone can read and edit. Um, it will be multilingual. It is designed to deal with all the complicated reality that Wikipedia has to deal with, being a global project. And of course, um, it's free software, just like MediaWiki. Um, so the project is divided into three phases initially. And the first phase that we're working on um, is about interwiki links. So someone who's not familiar with Wikipedia um, will probably think, huh? Interwiki links are links in the article source that tell MediaWiki, okay, this article is um, an article about the same subject in a different language. And on Wikipedia, you, for example, have the sidebar where it says, okay, the article about Berlin you're on is this and that article in the French Wikipedia and this and this in the English language Wikipedia and so on. The problem with this right now is that these links are duplicated in each article in each language. So for example, the French language Wikipedia has an article about Berlin and it has a lot of links to other Wikipedias and the German language Wikipedia is the same. This isn't really good. Um, because there's a lot of duplication, there's a whole bot framework trying to keep this in sync, and it's all a bit messy. So what we're trying to do is centralize those links in one place instead of uh, duplicating them. In the second phase, 
we're uh, going to tackle info boxes. So if you have a Wikipedia article, there's um, often a box with the most important information. For example, you have the um, article about Germany, then it will have uh, info about the capital, GDP, and things like that. Again, this information is not shared between the language versions of Wikipedia, but instead each language version maintains this in their article for themselves. Again, this isn't really, really a good thing necessarily. We want to provide the option to have this centrally in one place and shared uh, between the Wikipedias. And the third phase um, we want to tackle is list. I already showed you some list articles like uh, the list of um, animals with Fatherland diplomas. These are all maintained by hand. Now, if you have an article like the list of United States presidents um, in the English language Wikipedia and the United States um, elect a new president, then someone has to go and update this list. The same has to happen in all the other Wikipedias that have such an article. This isn't really practical again. So what we want to um, provide is an option to have these lists created automatically. And once we've done that, uh, also things like visualizations um, is something we want to tackle. So that you, for example, have, can have a visualization of the number of inhabitants of a country or things like that. So how will this all help Wikipedia? Um, it will provide a lot of options for new contributors to do really small things. Instead of having to write in a whole article that is really well thought out and really well researched, they can concentrate on one fact, edit, and have their first contribution. So at the same time, there's some, sometimes this feeling of, oh, Wikipedia is done. It's certainly not. Every time I talk to a Wikipedia editor, they have a huge list of things that they need to do still, and articles that they need to write still. Um, <clears throat> but to the outside world, it's a bit of this feeling, oh, yeah, it's done. Um, so we open a lot of new um, opportunities for people to contribute. Um, at the same time, we want to support small languages. This means that they will be able to rely on a lot of work that is done in the larger Wikipedias, so that they do not have to do all the research they don't have the manpower for. Um, and then I already showed you how, to, how it looks if you edit the article for Berlin, for example. Wikidata will allow a form-based uh, data entry instead of having to do this all in Wikitext, um, which is a lot nicer for most people. Um, and of course, it will automate some stuff that is currently done by hand um, to take off work um, off the shoulders of people who actually like to do something else. So this is all nice, right? But why does this matter? Why is this special? Um, First of all, as I said, it can handle a lot of languages. Wikipedia right now, 285 um, and growing. It can handle qualifiers and sources. So if you have um, Germany, for example, then you can say, OK, the chancellor of Germany is uh, Angela Merkel, according to this and that source. But you can also say, OK, um, she's a chancellor since 2005, and she belongs to this party, and so on. Or take the population of Berlin. You can say, okay, this is the current population, and in some centuries ago, it was this and that. And it will be able to deal with different opinions. So if you see this um, tower, it's a Donau Tower. Does anyone know it? No? Okay. It's in Austria. Um, and there was a discussion on the German language Wikipedia whether this is a viewpoint or a TV tower. This very same discussion 
filled books. So you see, it's, it will be really uh, important to handle, to be able to handle differing uh, opinions. And this is just a tower. Imagine things like um, the population size of Israel. People will not be able to agree on this, but we hope they will be able to agree on, okay, this in the source says it has this many inhabitants, and this source says it had this many inhabitants, and then use what they think is right. Um, what does this mean for the world outside Wikimedia? Of course, um, we do not just want to do this for ourselves, just for Wikimedia and just for Wikipedia, but also for um, third parties. There will be a large multilingual knowledge base with references that has a huge amount of data on an open license. It will be for free. <laughs> There will be an API that people uh, can build on. It's edited and maintained by a large community. Um, and we'd like to see this as an example of how to introduce a really major change to a huge collaborative project, because this is not simple. <laughs> um, oh, and of course, it's free software. You can run your own instance if you want to. All in all, I hope a lot of really, really good stuff will happen. Um, so people have approached us about some things they already want to build uh, on top of Wikidata. For example, a water sports wiki, or um, an application for pattern tracking, or published government data, or um, handle ordinance data. So this is data about landmines, disarmament, and so on. Um, but there's, of course, a lot more that is possible, and we only have seen like a small stuff, uh, a small subset of everything that people can think of. So the question is, what are you going to do with it once it's done? Um, think about it, and I hope it will help us. Um, making this vision reality. Thank you very much. <laughs> Questions? Yes. Hello, uh, not so really a question, but uh, uh, comment. Yes. Um, I noticed uh, that Wikidata um, addresses the same problems as linked open data does. Um, are you aware of this? Um, yes. <laughs> uh, yes is the short answer. So um, some of the people on our team have a lot of experience in the semantic web and everything like that. Um, if you're interested, for example, there's a draft of how we want to export the data to RDF. Uh, it's linked on um, meta.wikimedia.org slash wiki slash wikidata. If you go there, there's a box, um, stuff that needs your feedback or something. And there uh, should be a link to the RDF export. Okay, great. Sure. Other questions? Yes. Um, will it be uh, in parallel to the current structure? Or will it continue to be based there? Uh, okay, so the question was will this uh, run in parallel to what we have already, or will this completely replace things? Um, Wikidata will be an, or is an option. So, Things that work currently will continue to work. Um, people can still do interwiki links, for example, in the article text, and that's fine. Um, we even need that for um, for the interwiki link um, things, for example, because there are the overlaps between Wikipedia's isn't perfect, so you don't always have articles in one Wikipedia match the same article in a different one. So for these cases, for example, we still need it. Um, and the same for, for the data part uh, later. People want, and they will get this, um, to still be able to do this in the, in the wiki text if they want to. Yes. Yes. Uh, do you actually see um, the possibility of having contrasting, conflicting, uh, multi-technology, technology sources? 
Yes. Uh, do you actually see that as a way to solve this big brother mentality that some Yes. Have? Yes. For example, um, and not just that, it also hopefully will help um, combat this this filter bubble that each one of us has. And um, most of the time, you if you look at on the English Wikipedia, for example, you you get a certain viewpoint, hopefully neutral, and then if you look on a on a different website or you, on a different um, language Wikipedia. Those don't always match, right? And here you will be able to have it in one place and see, okay, there's a lot more than just this one opinion about this certain fact. Um, I, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of potential just in this alone. Yes. It will be forms, um, yeah. There will be special forms, for example, for um, entering dates and entering links and I don't know. Um, but in general, it will be forms, um, yeah. More questions? No? Well, then thank you very much.